Hi, I'm Rebecca from Little Adventure Shop and in this video we're going to talk to you about the kit your kid needs when they start climbing. Okay, so this video is aimed at the parents of, uh, or non-climbing parents whose children perhaps have been to a climbing party at their local wall, come home, they really enjoyed it, they want to start climbing and they join the classes at the local wall. So what kit do you need to get them going? Well, the first thing is most walls will rent gear out. So you don't need to buy anything, to, first of all, make sure your child really enjoys it before you start spending any money. Um, when they do start to enjoy it, which is inevitable, um, then you want to start, first of all, to think about climbing shoes. Now, a couple of tips on climbing shoes. They look like this. They're quite dainty. They're supposed to have a close fit to the foot so they don't roll around when your child's climbing like they would in, if they're wearing trainers. So a nice snug fit. Now with children's feet, you want to compromise a little bit with that and get them to start wearing them with socks. And then when their feet grow, you can take the socks away so you can get as good money's, your money's worth out of them. Another little tip to look for with kids climbing shoes is a lot of them will have an adjustable heel like this where you can move the heel forward and then use the strap at the back just to keep your child's foot forward. That just means you can buy them maybe a size larger than you would normally and get a bit more wear out of them. And the final tip on children's climbing shoes is for beginners, you want to buy what's called a flat last shoe. So the last is the underside of the shoe and it wants to be flat like this and this one here. So nice and flat, more advanced climbing shoes that look awesome but are not right for beginners are ones with more shaped last like this. So this is a, for a shoe for an advanced children, cl children's, uh, child climber, sorry. Um, look great, look really funky, but then really aren't the right thing to buy if you're a beginner climber. I can't stress that enough. So don't get wowed by the climbing shoes. Go for a beginner shoe with a flat last. Right, so you've got your shoes sorted. The next thing you want to think about, if they're still keen, is a harness. So bear with me. And Oh, here we go, here's our mannequin friend. Right, fundamentally there are two types of climbing harnesses. You've got a full body harness like this where you have straps over the shoulders and leg loops around both the legs. If I just twizzle this one round, you can see it crosses nicely at the back. And then the tie-in point, so where you attach the rope, is here. So it's quite high, it's sort of just um, at the top, bottom of your ribs. So it's great this type of harness is great for young children or children that want a bit more security feeling because if you have the time point here you just feel a bit more connected and a bit more protected sometimes when you're on the end of a rope. However, having said that, most children and most climbers will eventually prefer this type of harness which is a seat harness. So this is a waistband here and then two leg loops. So it will sit about here on your child, just with the leg loops here. Doesn't have any of this bit going on. Um, allow, it allows you a lot more freedom than this, um, but doesn't feel quite secure because the time point is about here where your button will be on your jeans. So seat harness is probably what you want to look for if your child's sort of six, seven years old and upwards. Um, if they're younger or they're just a, a bit more nervous and want a bit more security, then a full body harness is worth considering. So that's the sort of 101 on climbing harnesses for you. I'll just pop that over there. And then another little bit of kit, which makes great Christmas present as well, because it's nice and affordable, is a chalk bag. Chalk bags come in all sorts of funky designs. Um, look for one that comes with a belt with a clip. It's just easier for children than having to tie a knot every time they put it on. So a chalk bag is literally a bag that will hold a chalk ball. You use chalk to absorb some of the sweat on your hands when you're climbing and you just wear it like this with a waist belt around there and it'll hang at the back there and you just dip your hand in um, and get the chalk off. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Chalk in the air. <laughs> no, that's gone. So yeah, chalk bag is a lovely present as well and really fun. And the final bit of kit, which you probably won't need if your child's just climbing on in a wall, but it depends on the wall and you need to check whether they insist on children wearing helmets or not, but is a climbing helmet. A climbing helmet is different to a bike helmet. So um, it's got uh, more protection around the head and it comes further down the back. So it's not the same as a bike helmet. Um, 
most climbing walls, like I said, they won't insist on children wearing uh, climbing helmets. Certainly not. You shouldn't wear one on an auto belay. But if you are climbing outside, it's absolutely essential that you get your kid a climbing helmet. So in order of um, sort of importance or the order that you're most likely to get hold of the gear, I would say first it's the climbing shoe, then it's the harness and a chalk bag. And finally, if you need to get a climbing helmet as well. So I hope your children enjoy their climbing. And if you've got any comments, please put them below the video and we'll get back to you. Um, subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see any similar videos. Many thanks.